what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on our video today we are always happy and super excited to have you guys here so if you're watching today's video and you're not yet subscribed kindly consider hitting the subscribe button because it's totally free also get to hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time i upload a new video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown for this video is your favorite and why So in today's video, let's talk about how to prepare for, you know, wedding dress shopping because you don't need to show up at your local boutique and start pulling dresses off the racks just yet. There are some important decisions you need to make first and here is how you need to prepare to try on wedding dresses. First thing you need to do is to look for wedding dress inspiration if you can't contain your excitement after getting engaged the good news is that you don't have to wait until you're trying on wedding dresses in person to get an idea of what you really want in fact it's better to do your research before your first bridal shop appointment so that you have established a baseline of likes and dislikes for example your preferred wedding dress neckline your sleeve type your fabric and your gown silhouette The next thing you need to do is to make an appointment after you find a boutique you want to visit we always 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 recommend making an appointment while you may get lucky and snag a sale person just by walking in scheduling an appointment is the only way to ensure you'll get the full experience with staff uh, and divided attention without an appointment you'll also run the risk of being turned away many shops uh, have a no walk-in policy especially as a result of covid precautions and regulations Also make sure that you choose your dress shopping crew when scheduling your appointment take a moment to ask about the salon guest policy and how many people you're allowed to invite to try to help you try on wedding dresses the tip that we can share with you is to bring a big group to the salon in, uh, is a shopping don't having an entire roster of bridesmaids with you might sound like an ideal experience but it can quickly get out of hand with conflicting conflicting tastes or unnecessary distractions You need to enlist two or three VIPs like your maid of honor, your mom, your grandmother or those close family members to help you start your search. This way you can confidently go into the appointment focused on what you genuinely want without feeling pressured by too many opinions.
you will also need to finalize a wedding dress budget. Once you've created a wedding budget with your partner, um, it's time to decide how much money you want to uh, you want to allot for your wedding dress. According to you know company data, wedding attire accounts for six percent of the average couple's budget. And in 2020, I think 2021, the average cost of a wedding dress was uh, one thousand eight hundred dollars. It's important to establish a budget before you go wedding dress shopping for the first time because it will save some effort and potentially help you avoid disappointments in the long run. So guys thank you so much for watching today's video we are always happy to have you here kindly if you found this video useful or inspiring kindly don't forget to subscribe to the channel it's totally free also get to hit the notification bell and i hope that i'll be able to see you guys on my next video <music>